Pastor Carrie Hubland, and I am glad that you have joined us for another godly play today. Let's get started. I wonder what could be inside this box. You know, it's an awfully gold box. I wonder if there might be a parable inside. Parables, they're valuable, even more valuable than gold. This box, it looks a little old. You know, parables, they are old. It kind of looks like a present. And the parables are presents as well. Presents that were given to us long, long ago, even before we knew what they were. And this box, it's got, it's got a lid on it. And you know, sometimes parables are hard to get into, but we keep coming back again and again. And eventually, they'll open to us. I wonder if we should see what is inside our box. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. It's awfully brown. I don't see any other color. Just brown. The other side, it's just as brown as the first side. Kind of looks like a giant band-aid. Or maybe a really long rope. Let's see if there's anything else in our box to help us figure out what we need to get started. There are lots of things in our box, but none of them will help us get started. This is all there is. Once, there was a man who did such amazing things and who said such wonderful things that people began to follow him. And as they followed him, they heard him talking about a kingdom. A kingdom that didn't sound like anything they had ever experienced before because that kingdom was really different than where they lived. In fact, they didn't know anyone who lived in a kingdom like he described. And so one day, when they were following him, they asked him, what is the kingdom of God like? And he said, it is like a sower who goes out and sows seeds. The sower sows seeds on the path. But the seeds that are on the path, they quickly get eaten up by the birds. And the sower continues. And this time, as the sower sows the seeds, the seeds fall down onto the rocky areas. And the little roots try to go down, but they're 
there's not anywhere for them to go. And so they start to spring up, but the scorching sun burns them, and they are unable to grow. But the sower continues to sow seeds. And the sower sows seeds among the thorns. And again, the little roots try to go down and they get a little ways in. And they plant, they start to grow, but they are choked out by the thorns. But the sower continues to sow. And the sower sows seeds on the good soil. And the little roots, they dig in and they can dig in deep. And then they begin to grow and grow and grow. And soon it is time to gather in the harvest. And the harvest is 30, and 60, and 100. could really be. And I wonder how the sower felt when the sower sowed the seeds and the birds came and ate them all. I wonder how the birds felt to have seeds to eat. And I wonder what the sower was doing when the sower sowed the seeds among the rocks. And I wonder, I wonder how the sower felt as the sower sowed the seeds among the thorns. I wonder, I wonder how the sower felt when the sower sowed the seeds among the good soil. I wonder how the sower felt when the sower gathered a harvest of 30 and 60 and a hundredfold. I wonder what the harvest could really have looked like. Could it have looked like this? Could it have looked like this? Could it have looked like that? I wonder. I wonder where the sower got the seeds. And I wonder what the sower might have sold. What the sower might have kept. I wonder 
what the harvest could really have been. I wonder what the kingdom of God really looks like. And I wonder where we might find the kingdom of God. Thanks for joining me today for another Godly Play. Please like or subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we hope to see you again for another Godly Play soon.